It's starting to look a lot like Christmas. Yeah, buddy. It's November ending. And look, it's like Christmas already by Innovation America. How can life get any better than this and Christmas get any better than this, boy? You're looking up real nice there. Our Christmas shaping up real nice. What's going on, everybody? Another brand new sunshine day here in Guyana. Beautiful as can be. I'm down here by the fools on the East Bank. You know, buying some building materials. I have to get out some doors and paint. And these guys are from A to Z. Another lovely day. Hope you guys are being fun, you're being positive. I don't know what I'm gonna show you today, but I start off with construction. Join me and let's go in search of another adventure. I made a stop here at Gafour's to pick up more materials. And look how life gets sweeter. I run into my very old friend Hedimar Roy. You and I come a long way since uh, 90 something, uh, 2000, 2000, 2000 something. 20 years. 20 years About 20 back. years, yeah. Years back. back then you were with um I was in the cargo department. Cargo department, right. right. Cargo department coming born. Yes. Yeah. That's a long time 2003 ago. Two thousand three actually. Twenty years now. Yeah, twenty years. Wow, that's how long we know each other. We did back and now this is a lovely family across here. Yes. Hello my friend. Pleased to meet you. Same here. Uh, say yeah, family, whole family, I watch the video. Yeah, yes. the entire family. Yeah. Yeah. So say hello to them. Shout out some of the people in the watch show. No problem, no problem. This is a lovely daughter here. Oh, she's busy with the phone. She's calculating the funds. <laughs> oh, calculating what you're spending today. <laughs> right, it's a pleasure, man. You want to go with anybody? This one with my mom, um, all of us, um, for the holiday season coming up. Coming she's up, in Christmas New York. Oh, nice. The mom, wish yeah. you all the best. No problem, man. All right, and thank you guys for following the ARD show, right? Life can never get better than this season. <laughs> never. It's a pleasure, man. How is that? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Man. Good, yeah, man. Hey, so there we go, here, and I picking up doors right now, doors and paint. But look, the amount of stuff they have here, man. Molding from A to Z, Gafu have. So, you need to do construction. This is the place to visit. And as I'm here, look, and that is super fun. What's your name, man? Mahindra Singh. Mahindra Singh. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, you want to say hello to anybody? I would still like to say hello to my family and friends them as sheriff workers. Yes. Oh, they sheriff, got, yeah, my man. partner there, man. They got all the sheriff workers them. Yeah. Sheriff medical crew and security crew and the entire sheriff team. Team sheriff. Team sheriff. Big up my body, one love, yeah, right? Man. Can't get better than this. All right. So, we get out. I got to go up my, uh, my doors and my paint. And we heading back to cloud nine. Finish. Getting my doors and paint and heading back to Georgetown. Wow, look at the traffic. I am back home and I'm in the kitchen and my has been doing big things. What about Belinda? Gil Barker. <laughs> or Gold Barker. That's a nice Gold Barker. Captain Black Boy, Captain White Boy, sorry, sent this Gold Barker out from Northwest to me. The other day you would have seen in a previous video. All right? Look at that. Beauty. Kielbaka curry and dal puri. It's not a normal combination, but I have the dal puri available. I decided to eat it with the kielbaka. Tastes good. Trust me. Couldn't be any better than this, even. Thanks to the man, Captain White. Bye. Bye. Cheers. It's starting to look a lot like Christmas. Yeah, buddy. It's November ending. And look, 
is like Christmas already by Innovation America. How can life get any better than this and Christmas get any better than this, boy? You're looking up real nice there. Our Christmas shaping up real nice. I know the real man here though, ARD. Life yeah, can, get better, life can get better. And you welcome know? back home. Once again, you're back. You, you love this country, man? Yeah. I want everyone to know it's ARD make a company in this place because you show me <laughs> where to go and what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and this time around, you're going to another fishing trip. Our next the, fishing trip, I'm going to the Barbies River. In the Barbies River. But of course, I can't come with it because I, I, I do in a yeah, construction. Next, next time, next, next time. Next time around. <laughs> so, welcome home, man. Who you want to big up? Big up my daughter, Charlie, and my wife, Janet. Hey, Janet. Hello, I reach a yard. Once again. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Can't get better than yeah, this, yeah. Welcome home, Mika. Yeah, Welcome yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. All right. Them boys is busy, you know. <laughs> this is them by elevator. <laughs> Climbing up. The man painting the yes. fence and thing, you know. This is a good elevator. Elevator. Put the road there, put the left one. Hehehehe. Hello. You know, the work, full swing. We finished the outdoor work, not, not all of it, we get a fence to paint, but the building finished outside. And here comes the rain, the sea water on the roadways. Look at the clouds. Oh, the rain, the rain like he's stepping in. <laughs> the rain, the rain stepping in. Yeah. The rain been falling, falling the last couple of days. So, good thing we catch the sun, the sunny weather, to paint the outside the building. All right, looking up good demo, look, real nice. See Cloud 9 cover, now we're gonna study with rain, sun or rain, we can still party. Now, this is what Miss Lynch fireplace looking like on TV, room the theater. We mount the- um, Are there any loudspeakers to it? Surround system, the right? yeah. right. mount the, um, the wall mount onto the wall already, and we're setting up the TV. All right, so they're looking up all reasonable, nice. Okay. Another brand new morning, and we're about to send the barrels to Northwest Smith Creek, chat man. Sealing them there, we gotta drop it across the transport and harbor. And then I want to say thanks to Captain Black by his lovely wife, you know, give me this bag here with some more clothing, which we're gonna fill up in this bar really. Alright, to head down to um, Smith Creek and that's some visitors here you now, all the way from the quarantine by Wagwan. Yeah, yeah. Well. Yeah, life can get better away. Yeah. All right. And you, you just be watching the show. You watch the show too? No, we have a show. We watch but you don't watch now because yeah. you're part of the show yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we regular for the show. Regular? Yeah, we, nice, we nice. Gotta, we gotta start watching the show now. No problem. Who you want to big up? Um, I want to big up the family, yeah. friendship. Yeah. Know? Friendship quarantine. Quarantine there, yeah. And your uncle? Yeah, my uncle, um, Ram Florida. Ram 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 Florida. Big up to you, buddy. That boy's down here now. We're knocking coffee. <laughs> All right? <laughs> hey, good to see you, man. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Can't get better than this here, right? So we packing up here right now. Some more stuff coming out there. And we got to drop these barges across. So, transport there. We have show bus package and another package in there. And over here we have my buy Ricky. The R and the ARD. Yeah, throw in the shot, man. And then we have another package across here. This is from somebody else, not sure who this one from. But at least you see the stuff you might be able to recognize your box. I just want y'all to see where y'all stuff going, alright? <laughs> this girl that she asked when she come in and see your cousin, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we thought that was my cousin outside. <laughs> oh, see yeah. that shot. How was your cousin? I thought that was her cousin. cousin. I didn't know what's him. <laughs> she called the guy and she said, come. And she gave him a big hug. Yes. So I said, oh, she found her family. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. What a surprise, man. Yeah, welcome, man. welcome. Yeah, man. Hey, yeah, I man. gotta tell you, man. You did a wonderful job for the people in Guyana. Thank you, man. Not only that, promoting Guyana. Yes. In a very big way. Appreciate it, you know? man. Well, you know, and I hope the least the I can do. At least could give you some sort and of credit. I hope, for that. <laughs> you know? I hope, I'm hoping. I yeah. hope all the people that with the store is appreciating what you're advertising the business. Yes. Absolutely. yes. And you know, I for think free. about every day. 
For free, I do it. I don't. I never charge anybody to have it. Okay, okay, okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, my hand. Look at these girls here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, to my friend. These are my cousins. This is my cousin. Oh. I mean, this is my husband's cousin, but this is my school friend. Oh. So this is the one that gave me my husband. Oh, I want to say somebody set up somebody here. Yes. What happened was. <laughs> um, um, my mom has a house in Lamar Street uh, in Newtown. Yes. So we were upstairs and they used to live downstairs. Oh, so you set up, cool you friends. set up the, the run in. So she brought her, like, you know, home one day. <laughs> and that's when we met. <laughs> lovely, lovely, anyway, lovely. I brought this for the kids at Crane Sea Dam. Oh, nice. Right? So, so have some, yeah. And I went shopping. Right. My husband didn't even know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See? So I'll get it today. I'll, and what was your name? My name Thank is you. Sophie. Sophie. Rafikali. Yeah. And your husband? Enjoy your Rafikali. Lovely. So. Yeah. Yes. Crane, see them? <laughs> you got things coming for you, don't and worry. This, this money here so is to buy ice cream for the for kids. For them? All right. And this is for do some kindness on the street for uh, any for little kid that you see. All right. No and problem. I make sure I ask my daughter for a donation to give <laughs> All right. So you want to say hello to anybody? I want to say hello to my co-worker, uh -huh. uh, Gita Khan. All right. And uh, Malcolm and Samaru and my brother-in-law who hasn't come here for 50 years 50. please come back because I'm enjoying every moment how long it took you to come back? 15 15? yeah and he is 50 but you know everything is good clean but one thing I don't like is the water bottle in the water the, the, the garbage in the, the, garbage so in the water garbage, is you know? water bottles and food boxes and stuff I wish they would recycle stuff I've been saying a long time pay the guys the homeless guys them five dollar for one bottle or ten dollar Get a recycling plan and all our waterways are gonna empty. Or pay five dollar pound Even the for bottle. garbage and uh, yeah, all the bottles, recycling. I've been asking for that. You know, they pay these homeless guys to go into the <laughs> trench the and they can pick up the garbage from inside the trench. You pay them, you buy oh, it I from them. I have to say hello to my kids, Frazan and Altaf. All right, all right. <laughs> and Carmen. <laughs> no problem. Right. For my daughter, for hey, daughter, Thank you. Okay. Nice for a lack of kindness. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever you choose, you know what I mean? No you problem. You know exactly who needs what. Yeah, well, Christmas is coming, so I'll probably buy out somebody's stand. Sure. You never know what I'll do for yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You'll see it on the video. Oh, who you want to say hello to? Hello to my lovely kids, Fazia, Frazana, and Altaf. Who else? Your brother? And my brother, Basil, and the entire family in Toronto. No problem. All right. Are you guys from you Toronto? Know, I, I want to share yes. a little story. Yes. When I was small growing up, very poor in Kitty. I show a lot of people who is outside now grow up very poor just like me. Yes. And you know, we have a little bit more now in life. But Correct. I remember going to the hospital to visit my brother one time and there was this family who was sharing ice cream. Wow. And I wanted the ice cream so badly that mm. I came home and I started jumping off the couch. My sister said, why are you jumping off the couch? I said, so I could break my foot and go in the hospital. Just, Just to get, get ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> and today, I can give so many kids an ice, ice cream. cream yeah. You no, know, I'm, I'm so happy. happy. Yeah, I'm happy you, you, you are doing your act of kindness here. Yeah. You're looking out for the people that are less fortunate. I'm happy. And it's, it's okay. It's well, okay to, from, to get uh, overwhelmed. Like, yes. You know, it helps you, you, like, you know the worth of and the value of things. Absolutely. Not the price. And who better person than to give it to the daddy? Yes. You thank know, you, thank you so much. And I'm happy I have the same story to share like you. We yeah. couldn't buy sweetie. And there make sure, you know, all those family who are giving the kids 10 gifts for Christmas. Yeah. Just think about one less and give the it to neighbor, the less fortunate. Somebody next the less to them. Fortunate. Correct, correct. And correct. Danny's sister, don't forget to put more than $5 in the Christmas <laughs> card this year. Don't forget to put more you're than still, $5. You're not up the thing for 5 now to something else. Eh? See what you're going to do. <laughs> All right, so. So thank you so much. Yes, a pleasure. It's a pleasure meeting you. All, all right. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm making my way over to the transport and harbors, freight service or ferry service, and the back here, heading into um, the compound here. All right. It's water street, this now. There's a water street here. Yeah. Any security there, boy? I didn't see no security, so. Probably took a bathroom break. Not sure if this bar is gonna make it, but I am crossing my finger and hope for the best. So let me park and go find out what's going on. Can the boat leaves tomorrow? This is how we load up that way. Alright, you got five here, we got three in this van. Shot my van, alright? We're gonna check out the office now, not sure where is the office, but we're gonna find out. I run into one of my country man here by from Devonshire Castle. Yeah, Jacob. 
Jacob, you wanted to read? Yeah, read that. Uh, Alright, the old man was Uncle Paji. Yeah, Uncle Paji, right, 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 right. right. Your brother yeah, is Jack, gone. Jack, Jack, Jack and good. <laughs> good schoolmate, my uncle and you are schoolmates. Yeah, Roger that. Lovely, lovely. Good to see you, man. Yeah, man, respect. Right, good buddy. Yeah. And I was watching show everybody. Everybody show too? Nice, yeah, nice. Man, you want you wanna pick up anybody? Man, look, who must pick up to pick up to my brother, my sister, my uncle, my auntie, my everybody. No problem, man. No problem. I pick up to you too. Yeah, well, I like thank you. Brother. Appreciate it, man. Well, yeah, man. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so this is what it looks like here, you know, the cargo section of the transport um, bond, you know. Watch, watch my boy, watch my boy. Life can't get better. Good to see you. You're heading back to um, Marco? Yeah, the boat to come by Black Friday right now. Yeah, Good to see you, my man. Good to see you. All right. Look, here I go here, but I have to go in to Kamaka right now. So we got, you know, so many barrels them are floating there right now. And I'm happy that, you know, you folks send plastic barrels. The folks in in Northwest can use these barrels to, um, store water you know happy about that but the paper one is of no use you know these here are better now look around to another fan here man yeah. are you asking me for who black bike you have the black bike the man that come back right now you come back when you meet come back there love you buddy good to see you man hey what's up buddy what's up what's up please to meet you man cool man all right so we are floating the barrels here right now man you gotta come here early to get your cargo to go in because a lot of cargo goes into the northwest, you know. A lot of cargo. I'll give you all a little tour of the wharf, the operation of the wharf. See all them huge boats that are carrying stuff to the island rig. Loading up the hatch, the man. Wow, on the Kimbia, the Kimbia boat, big hatch. The cargo I keep there, like, whatever man, fetch it. A lot of cargo. This is a new, this is a new boat, eh? This is a new boat, and I got the other boat across there. A lot of, a lot of boat out there, man. It's just how the gas bottle go in. You understand? So, them fellas loading up. Loading up the boat here right now to go to um, Kumaka. I look both south here, but this is a new war for them and um, building it out to accommodate the MV Malaysia. Alright, and we're right at the mouth of the um, Demara River here into the mighty Atlantic. A lot of wars going on for this war here, man. A lot, a lot of wars. Finally, finish. Paperwork, the barrels are there to be loaded onto the vessel, then to Northwest. All right, it costs a total of 18,000 Ghana dollars or 90 US to ship the eight barrels to Mabaruma Komaka area. There, my bike captain, White Bay, gonna pick it up and take it to the folks in Marijuana. Unfortunately, I would not be able to go there to see the distribution because I have construction going on at my house. All right. I had him back to cloud nine. Yeah, it's Friday, thank God it's Friday. Not sure what we're gonna be doing today, but stay tuned. Let me continue the adventure. The busy hustle and bustle here on Regent Street by the Christmas season approaching. Everybody coming down to town to hurry up to get us the Christmas supplies, you know. Nobody wanna wait for the last minute.
traffic, you can see a lot of traffic here. Man. Every part of Jar Chung is a lot of traffic right now. Too much traffic. case you're staying by the sleeping or the carnival casino there right opposite you're gonna find the roti hut and uh, pizza and bakewell bread man all right it's right across the road look there's a sleeping hotel across there on albert street albert and north road you're gonna find bakewell Heading back to Cloud 9 to see what them boys doing. All the plumber deer and the construction workers. Alright. Can't get any better. I look for my Arjun! I don't know, leave about that one. You do Christmas shopping too? Uh? <laughs> nah. right. <laughs> Life can't get better, but good to see you, boy. Yeah, everybody. Everything good? Yeah, man. Number one fish I want, you know. We see you catch big arowana or so now. <laughs> Long now. Long now, all right. <laughs> Can't get better. Now, look how my flinch fireplace and TV or theater or theater room looking up all nice. With the lights and things, look. Whoa. This girl, you know, have this place looking really nice. Except for all the cables in the corner there. So we're gonna fix that up, don't worry. But I like how it's looking at the new look. Really awesome. It's Friday night, it's movie night. Tomorrow is Saturday. We're gonna continue the adventure. Another brand new. Number is cleaning up, you know. It's Saturday morning. We load up the truck already. We heading out to um Lusitnan dump site. Drop off and let load here. And then we're gonna start working on the wood. Then by painting the fence and thing, you know. And this man is Akim, right? Akim! The man not answering to the name, boy. <laughs> Are you paid? Alright, buddy, alright, alright. <laughs> So we nice sit up, we nice sit up, we looking up all good here man. Alright. So it's a brand new day. I heading down to Lusitan, drop brand off the builder's ways. Then I got to Ogle. My bike captain black bike sent out Gil Baker, you know, once again. So I gotta go pick up Gil Baker. It's Gil Baker curry later on today. Life could never get better. Join me and let me celebrate yet another adventure. On repose village. I passing through the market area here, you know. I have to show you guys this market as I pass by. My bike down now, man. What's going on? <laughs> Old friend of mine, you know. When last year I see him Morris Axford. Look at the red car over there. Uh -huh, the new market open. Some people are there. Nice, the market open for Christmas, boy. <laughs> but it's not fully completed. Look, the outside still got some, you know, cosmetic work to be done. Beautiful sunshine this morning, man. So, in time to come, all these vendors on the road are gonna have to be removed because the new market open there right now. Not sure, I gotta go in and give you all a tour. Might not be today, but you know, maybe Christmas time. Whenever I come back to the market, people are slowly moving in back to the market. But the amount of vehicles here, people parking and going to the market you know this is something Guyana have to seriously consider 
when setting up a market or supermarket businesses, you need to cater for parking. The population are driving now, so you need parking. You understand? Anyway, let me head to the dump site, drop off the garbage, and then heading back to Ogle to pick up the Gilbaco. I'm passing by the Lusitnan Golf Course, and what a beauty! <laughs> there is rain, much needed rain in Guyana. Today is November 18th, and it's Saturday, and the rain is drizzling a little bit. You know, the weather is so hot in Guyana. Today should be about 89 degrees, but with the little rainfall. Uh, it's gonna calm things down, gonna cool things down. This is a new housing project going up here behind the Lusignan village. Making my way out of Golf Road. The rain finished falling, we're going on there, man. Thought we would get some rain, you know. I'm heading back to Ogle, Eugene F. Mariah Airport, to pick up them goodness that Captain White Vice sent out. Then I might head to Mount Repose Market, you never know. But the journey continues. Ogle International Airport or Eugene F. Coraya International. I see a lot of vehicles here, not sure if some important person, a lot of police down here, so some important person coming through the airport today. A lot of official vehicles there. Look at this nice Ford van nearby. Nice camping vehicle, you know. Oh yeah, I'll probably see in this airport a lot because I come in here a lot to get my fresh supply of Gilbaka, you know. Hey, <laughs> hey, Air Services Limited. You know, Alright, well at least this fella, do they have an aeronautical school here or something? Not sure. Or engineering school. I know Art William and and some other person have a one of the um, schools, but it's why they put all these tires in a reserve. And what business is this? Why you gonna park? All right, I gotta find a parking. Of course, y'all yeah, know what's inside those bags. Gilbaco, eggs, salmon, or salmon. We got things, you know, straight to the kitchen. We're gonna cook up a storm. I am back home, back to the kitchen. But first, I gotta prepare it easy. Snapper and trout, eggs. Can get fresher out of my broom and art Look at this. Bought the fish already filleted thanks to the man Captain Bashir and his crew from Smith Creek. And by his prepared this me, you know. And over here, Captain Black Bay or Captain White Bay. Some nice paku out on the northwest. And of course we got a salmon. That one can go into the oven today. Now these here are gonna be prepared for Christmas. These are finger food, you know, cutters, so we knock a thing. Lovely paku. Bought the fish and bangamiri. I'm gonna prepare these, season them, put them in the freezer. Christmas time, I ain't gonna get my hands dirty. I already got cutters. I already pack away the gill back into the freezer. That's gonna go to Florida. All right? But for now, I gotta clean up here. Eh? Who knows, I might fry some of the paku, you know, you never know. All right? The goodness continue. Now look at the finished product. This is the paku. Already clean, seasoned, 
with garlic, pepper, and salt. Of course, I got this salmon here. It's going in the oven momentarily. All right, I still have the bango and the lokanani to clean. It's a Saturday affair, everybody in the kitchen. They're looking after the garlic and onion to make the puree to season these bad boys. In. Well, I ordered garlic. Did you put pepper in my garlic? I just did. And we got some chicken. This girl doing her diet. Keto diet. Oh, no, no, it's Stephanie diet. Stephanie. Stephanie. Oh, yeah, black. I realize I'm black. Sorry. You don't realize? No. Okay, well, really realize now. So we have something not regular at the bottom here, man. Why this stove of smoke like this? I almost get ketchup out. I'll see. I don't know why you smoke coming out of the stove like that. Yeah, I'll, I'll. You want to get the hose and just hose down the stove? <laughs> no. Somebody probably make oil drip and fall on the bottom of the plate. They Make a plate. Yeah, so we don't stop the stove and wipe it out. Guyana is a country that produces oil, so we have an oil leak in the stove. That's why you're getting the smoke. Oil spill. Oil spill. We have an oil spill right now, not an oil leak. All right. <laughs> so usually when we fry the fish, we will normally put the, the pan in here for safekeeping while the oil is hot. So I'm going to add some salt here, and we have the nice garlic and pepper. We have the eggs here nicely cleaned, butter fish, bango. Time to go and season it. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day. And of course, today, I have it all back out. We gotta fry some today. Now. And Megan making some more of the puree of the seasoning, pepper and garlic. Now this is a fish, cavalli, this one here. The scale fish, cavalli. It's Ricky's favorite, Cavalli. So I'm gonna be frying some Cavalli for my boy Ricky, the R and the A R D, and I'm gonna be eating it for him. For my boy Robin Sukraj, I'm gonna be frying a piece of butterfish for you, and I'm gonna lash it. All right, can never get better. Alan Fields, tomorrow I'm gonna cook for you some dal puri and duck curry. All right, good. Or <laughs> some godooks, <laughs> goat and duck curry combination. Hi. Right. Go curry. Go curry tomorrow. All right, and we have some seasoned chicken breast there for Miss Lynch. We got some chicken stew or stew chicken, and we got some bile chana. That's for me. And over here, in case you need to <laughs> snack on some, knock some breakfast boiled <laughs> eggs. Morning side. Oh, the aisle heating up there. I got get some of this goodness what in the aisle. Huh. We find some of this goodness here. This is the um cavalli. Can get better than this and fresher than this world. Saturday in the kitchen. Look at this guy. How nice it frying. Golden brown. Uh-huh. Proper. Now look at the goodness there with the finished product. Now over here I got some more frying. Now the review on this fish. For the taste, I'll give it a 7 from 10. The texture, the texture is kind of a little bit stiff. However, the taste is similar to high water. Those of you from Essequibo or who knows high water fish, is this. She want. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Similar to high water. But it's nice. I'll give it a 7 from 10 in terms of taste. Cheers. Now this with some pepper sauce. <laughs> Life could never get any better on a Saturday afternoon. Now uh, up in cloud nine. And then by putting on a new coat of paint. Brighten up the, the, the cloud nine for um, Christmas, you know. See there? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Feel the breeze by and 
with fry fish. Where does guy knock your fry fish, boy? Cold hands, baby. Hey, you don't want to say that, boy. You don't want to say what you What should I go on there? Now one shelf, a lot of shelf. We knock a cold bangs beer for real, boy. Then I say, then I say when I paint you, just got you just got knock a beer, no? Yeah, for the paint, then. Smell, for the smell, yeah, buddy. Well, you gonna can you get Excel? Eh, beer can drink water. Or you drink beer water? You must drink water, man. Drink water. Well, you get cranberry here, buddy, if you want. And ketchup. <laughs> Pepper sauce and thing, me and all you gonna knock. Can we got one man not drink rum? Did my guy marry this boy not drink rum and thing? Whoever got married this chap, eh? Yeah, good. So they're good. You can cook, you walk hard, you not drink rum, you not smoke. Sure I like excel. What do you excel for this man? You know the energy drink? Cause this man I work hard. Alright? So we gotta hook this man up across in with the red short there. Look at it there boy. We're gonna check out this salmon. This fish come all with a narc this morning. It's supposed to be ready, you know, darling. Let me see. Look, look at all the fattiness. Wow the heat. Yeah. Look at all the yeah, fat there boy. Wrong with some more? So from now, let's come to Georgia. How far you want to send it? To America? You don't, you don't get a joke. Yeah. You said one was some more, so I ask you, how far you want to send it? It came from now, let's. Are you ready? Alright. So there's someone looking up. Uh, lovely day. And that's how I does. How we just do it, you know, when it comes from the Atlantic, it goes into the oven or the carry heat. Hope you guys enjoy. A couple of days tour with me. Hope you had fun. I want to thank you for the privilege of your time. Take care of you and each other. Thank God it's Saturday. We're going to lash the fish momentarily. Alright? God bless you all. Peace out. I will see you on the next adventure.